Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Jean Nicole, and today's tutorial is going to be on this have up, have braided. I'm not really sure what they call this style, but it's really trending on TikTok. And as soon as I've seen it, I was like, y'all, I have to do this for my channel. Okay, it is super cute. Okay, I really like this. Also, just want to throw in there that we hit a thousand subscribers and still time for you guys. So I just want to take the time and say thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and let's keep going. Let's see if we can get to 200,000. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial, you guys. But first, if you hadn't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Also, hit that like button as well. Don't forget the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new tutorials. All right, you guys. So if you want to see how cheap this looks, this is keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So jumping straight into the video, I'm using expression hair. I'm using three packs of expressions hair. And um, you can see he already have one ready to go. Alright, so my hair is already pre-parted it. I did this at work. My manager did it for me, guys. But anyways, it's already pre-parted and ready to go. So I'm ready to start my knotless braids. Now y'all know me. I love my old side edge control. This is like the only edge control that I use right now. And I love it. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my knotless braid. And if you don't know how I do knotless braiding, it's just feeding in hair as you go. So this is one feed in that I'm going to do and I'm just going to braid and I'm going to bring it down and then I'm going to feed in another piece and I'm just going to braid also I'm going to bring it down and one more time I'm going to feed in some more hair I'm going to braid and I'm going to bring it down and once three, all three legs are um, even in density I'm just going to continue to braid down. Okay, you guys, so once you start braiding your hair and it gets too long for you to braid, um, I like to take a clip and I like to pin it up and I'm just going to continue to braid. This way, I don't have to put it in my mouth. I don't have to be struggling with the doing long braids because this method right here, it eliminates all that. So this is what my braid is looking like so far and I'm just going to keep on going my knotless braid. All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much finished with the first row of my knotless braiding. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this method throughout the rest of my hair. But real quick, I'm going to go in and immerse my rose bands in this little container in black Jamaican castor oil. Uh, this is just so it can moisturize my hair and not break it off whenever I get to the top of my head. So I'm just gonna have this sit here while I finish the rest of my knotless braiding in the back and it'll be ready to go whenever I get to the top of my head. Now I'm done with my knotless braiding in the back. This is what it's looking like so far. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turning out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to tackle the top portion of my head. Now with this part, you don't necessarily have to follow my design I choose to do. You can come up with your own design or you can choose a whole different um, design however you want to do it you can have colorful rubber bands you can do a different layout you can part one side you can braid one side and do rubber bands on the other side it's completely up to you but I've seen this one specific style that I wanted to do and um, I'm going to go for that so I'm going to use rubber bands throughout the whole top portion of my head all right you guys so on this part you want to make sure your partings are nice and neat this part can really make or break your hairstyle. Uh, mind you, I had came straight home from work to start doing my hair, um, and it kind of lasted longer than I thought it would. Uh, it is now approaching 11 o'clock at night, and I just think that it's totally too late for me to be up with my little baby um, doing my hair, but <laughs> nonetheless, it came out really, really nice. However, I know it could have been much better because 
um, me as a stylist, just knowing that my parts could have been way better than what it was. But just keep in mind when you're doing this portion of your hair to make sure your parts are nice and neat. And take your time, you guys. Don't rush through this process. And before anybody say anything, my hair is not tight. Although it may look like I'm doing it tight, it is not tight. Um, the good thing about this style is that you can adjust these rubber bands to be as tight or as loose as you want. It's totally up to you. You don't have to do them as tight. I wouldn't recommend you do, do it tight anyway. So it's up to you on how you want to do it again. Um, the minds are not tight at all. y'all i think this goes without saying to do not forget <laughs> to connect your um your hair in the rubber band i know right it's like girl this is like the main thing how can you forget to connect your hair into the rubber band i don't know you guys i think it was just late i was tired from work earlier that day i've been dealing with my baby and trying to record it was just so much going on, but I, I, on many attempts, forgot to actually connect um, the hair to the rubber, to the next rubber band, if that makes sense. So, again, do not forget to do that. I know it's like, goes without saying, but it, I, I forgot. All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with that section. I am working on my last section on the right side of the head. Well, my right, your left <laughs> section of my head. And I'm just gonna completely put, I'm just gonna repeat the same method on this portion of my head. Alright y'all, so I am finished with this side of my head. This is what it's looking like so far. Don't mind it right now because we are not done. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start um, doing my knotless braids um, from the connect. And then um, once I finish doing my knotless braids, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera and come back to you guys so you can see it. girl you started looking like something <laughs> all right so this is what it's looking like so far you guys now i'm just gonna go in with my olive oil hold and shine wrap set um, also known as mousse and i'm just going to apply this all over the top portion of my head um, this is the time where you can like lay your baby hairs if you like all right and so i went to sleep or whatever with this scarf on my head and i woke up the next morning this is like at six o'clock a.m um and I'm just going to finish braiding the rest of my hair down. Um, I had got extremely tired last night. I didn't feel like doing it. So I just, 
decided to put my scarf on with my mousse and um, go to sleep and wake up and finish uh, braiding the rest of my hair. Now, um, I didn't finish obviously braiding my hair. I had to go to work and finish it in between my clients. But when I came home and put on my lipstick, honey, this is what it was looking like. It came out so cute, you guys. What do you guys think about this tutorial? Would you rock this hairstyle or what? I mean, this is so cute, y'all. I really dig it. What you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, of course, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe um, on my um, video. I really would appreciate it, you guys. And until my next tutorial, I will see you guys later.